All right, guys. Hello, it's Jay in the Camera Pictures, and like I promised, I want to try and do some sports analysis videos. And I really love NCAA football, so I'm gonna try and do who I think is going to win and lose, basically records of all the teams, Power Five and non Power Five in the FBS. And I'm gonna start with my team, Alabama, and you can leave your thoughts in the comments on. Whether I should do another SEC team or whether I should do ACC, Big Ten, Big 12, Pac-12, Mountain West, American, uh, Sunbelt, Mountain West, or MAC. I think that's all. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so September 1st versus Louisville in Orlando. If Louisville had Lamar Jackson still, then I might give... Louisville to win, but since they don't, Alabama's going to win. And I'm also assuming that Tua Tagiovola or whatever his name is, is going to be the starting quarterback in all these games. Okay, September 8th, Arkansas State at home. I think it's going to be a win. If it was at Arkansas State, I'd be slightly concerned. Not like concerned as in we're going to lose, but concerned as in we're going to give up some points. But I think we'll be good for that. Uh, September 15th, at Ole Miss. Uh, not last year, but two years ago, they almost beat us at home. Or, no, it was at Ole Miss. Then the year before, they beat us at home. But, I think we're going to win this compared to what we did to them last year, 66-3. Yes, it was at home. Yes, it wasn't a very good year for them. But then again, neither was the year before. So, I'm going to give them a, I'm going to give us, I'm sorry, a win over them. <clears throat> Uh, September 22nd, at home against Texas A&M. That should be a pretty simple-ish game, maybe. I don't know. I believe Kevin Sumlin's coming back as a coach. I haven't done too, 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 too much research into any of these teams, but I think that's going to be a win. It's at home. And then, do I really have to say this? <laughs> September 29th, Louisiana Lafayette at home, giving a win right there. Um, <clears throat> sorry, getting a little bit of a cold. October 6th at Arkansas. That might be an interesting game, but I think we're still going to win that. Arkansas is the best. Um, October 13th at home against Missouri. Drew Locke is back. However, if it was at Missouri, I might think it's a little closer, but I think we'll get a maybe 2-3 touchdown win over Missouri at home. And then October 20th at Tennessee, just because Jeremy Pruitt is becoming a new coach doesn't mean they're going to be great. It's not going to be another Lane Kiffin story. It's going to be more like uh, Texas Longhorns, Tom Herman story, in my opinion. So give me a win there. I think it's going to be another rebuild season for Tennessee. They're going to win the bye, <laughs> obviously, October 27th. November 3rd at LSU. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give him a check X. Like, I don't know how LSU is going to be next year. Like, I don't, like I said, I haven't done many much research into these teams. I don't know who's, what starters are returning, what starters are going to the NFL, what people are transferring in from other schools. So I'm going to give him a check X, but probably a win. Uh, November 10th at home against Mississippi State. We almost got beat by Mississippi State last year at Mississippi State, but since it's at home, I think we'll get uh, maybe two touchdown win, three touchdown. The Citadel, November 17th at home, give me a win. No November 24th at home against Auburn. If it was at Auburn, like it was this year, and we got destroyed, then I can give them Auburn. But I'm going to go with another check X there. The Tigers seem to be giving us the trouble this year. Uh, trouble down in Baton Rouge and Jordan Hare. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like 9 o'clock at night. I'm supposed to be going to bed soon. <laughs> Anyways. Because um, it's school night. Anyways. It's off track. Probably going to get a win since at home. But I don't know. So I think it could be anywhere with 10 or 11 or 12 wins and 0 or 1 or 2 losses but if I had to take my best guess I would choose 12 and 0 not bias just to a Tagiawola what he did in the national championship game just 
I'm looking forward to him. I think Alabama's football program is going to be revitalized by Tua. And I think that him and Saban have already built a really pretty positive relationship. So that's my thoughts on Alabama. Uh, Like I said, leave me your thoughts in the comments, both on whether you agree with this or whether you don't agree with this and what teams you want me to do next. And I'll see you next time. Jane, the camera picture, signing up. Peace out.